Our topic today is property of line segments, and our goal, I can find the midpoint of a line segment using the coordinates of its endpoints. So before we can go about finding the midpoint of a line segment, we have to know what that is. So here's a definition for you. The midpoint of a line segment is the point on the line that is equidistant from the endpoints. Okay, so it's actually on the line segment because a line does not have a midpoint. It goes forever in either direction, so there are no endpoints. So you can ha only have a midpoint of a line segment. So what that actually means is that this distance here is the same as this distance here. And if we just take a quick look at this with Pythagorean theorem, we can find a nice little right angle triangle here that is 4 units by 3 units, which means that the hypotenuse is 5 units. It's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. And up here we have another 3, 4, 5 triangle. So those two lengths are definitely the same. So. Now we're going to go about seeing how we can relate the coordinates in the midpoint to the coordinates of the endpoints. So let's take a look at what the coordinates of the endpoints are. This one is 1, 2. And this endpoint up here is 9, 8. And if you take a look at this one here, I believe the midpoint is the point 5, 5. So let's take a look at how we can compare the coordinates. If we take a look at the x coordinates, um, the two x coordinates are 9 and 1 for the endpoints, and the coordinate of the x coordinate of the midpoint is 5. And if we take a look at the y coordinates, the two y coordinates are 8 and 2. And the y-coordinate of the midpoint is 5. So we need to find some way to relate those numbers. Now, have a look at this. 9 plus 1 is 10. Divided by 2 is 5. Now let's do the same thing with the y-coordinates. 8 plus 2 is 10. Divided by 2 is 5. What we actually just did there Let's take the average of the end coordinates, and that will work every time. When you want to find the middle of something, you take an average. If you want to find kind of what the middle of your marks are, you average your marks. You add them all up and divide by how many marks there are. So in this case, we added up the two coordinates and divided by two coordinates, and that gives us the middle of those coordinates. So that is going to happen every time and that gives us the midpoint formula. To find the coordinates of the midpoint of a line segment you will simply average the endpoints coordinates. This will give us this formula. Add up the x coordinates and divide by how many there are which is 2. And when you're done that add up the y coordinates and divide by 2 which is how many coordinates there are. So let's actually put this into play. Determine the midpoint of the line segment with endpoints 4, 9, so that's this one here, and 2, negative 1, that's this one here. So we're trying to find the midpoint of that line. And we're going to do that with the formula. The formula says m equals x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. So in this case, my x's are 4 and 2. So I add them up. 4 plus 2, and since there's two of them, to take an average, I divide by 2. Now 4 plus 2 is 6, divided by 2 is 3. And now I have to do that with the y coordinates. My y's are 9 and negative 1. So I have to do 9 plus negative 1. If I get rid of the double signs, that's 9 minus 1 divided by 2. And I'm just going to put a little arrow there to say that we added negative 1, which means that we have minus 1. And so 9 minus 1 is 8, divided by 2 is 4. Let's take a look at 3, 4 and see 
if that's the center here. So three, four, oh, it looks like it's on the line. And if I take a look, I go over one, up, one, two, three, four, five, over one, up, one, two, three, four, five. So that gives us the same two little right triangles in there. So if we've got the same two little right triangles in there, those two hypotenuses will be the same as well. So we have an equidistant one. Now, example, example number two says the diameter of a circle has endpoints 4, 3 and negative 2, 6. What is its center? Well, the center will be the middle of the diameter. Okay, we know that. A diameter goes straight through the center of the circle. And so we need to find the midpoint. So the midpoint is x1 plus x2 over 2 y1 plus y2 over 2. And if I add up the x's, I have 4 plus negative 2. Maybe I'll write it down this time. 4 plus negative 2 over 2. And 3 plus 6 over 2. Well, 4 plus negative 2 is 4 minus 2 divided by 2. And then we still have 3 plus 6 over 2. And now let's figure it out. 4 minus 2 is 2. Divided by 2 is 1. And 3 plus 6 is 9. Divided by 2 is 4.5. So the center of the circle is at 1, 4.5. That might have been hard to spot on a graph if we graphed it. Now this one's slightly different. The midpoint of a line segment is 3, negative 2. One of the endpoints is 8, 15. What is the other endpoint? Well, since we know the midpoint is given by x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2, we're going to fill in the information we know. And part of the information we know is actually the midpoint, 3, negative 2. And I've got one of the endpoints, but I don't have the other one. So I'm going to leave it as x2. And I have one of the y coordinates, which is 15, but I don't have the other one. So this 8 was our one end point that we knew. This 15 was from the one end point we knew, the y coordinate of that end point. And now I'm actually going to break this up into two different equations because I know that this thing has to be 3. And I know that this thing has to be negative 2. If I just put the two um, coordinates together. So I'm actually going to say equating coordinates. So I'm going to equate this 3 with the x coordinates, 8 plus x2 over 2, and solve. And I'm also going to do that with the y's. Negative 2 has to equal 15 plus y2 over 2, since those have to represent the same point. Now, to solve, I'm going to get rid of that divide by 2. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to start with. And those 2's are going to cancel, so this side is just 8 plus x2, and this side is 6, and I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides, and when I do that, I get negative 2 equals x2. So I know that the x coordinate of the other end point is negative 2. I'm going to go about the same thing over here. I'm going to multiply both sides of this by 2. These 2's are going to cancel which leaves me with negative 4 equals 15 plus y2. 
And now I'm going to subtract 15 on both sides. Subtract 15 here, subtract 15 here, which tells me that negative 19 is y2. And that means that, therefore, the other endpoint is negative 2, that's the other x, and negative 19, that's the other y. And that's a wrap.